And welcome to St Mary's here on the south coast of England. I'm Derek Ray. I'm joined for commentary by former Arsenal fullback Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Southampton up against Aston Villa. Thanks, Derek. I'm sure both coaches will want their players to start with a real zip in their play. Really show the opposition what they're in for. That could lead to fireworks. Let's hope so. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man. Lee, what do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, the more you give this lad the ball, the better the team normally plays. He switches the ball, he links play from left to right, up and down the pitch. He keeps possession, a brilliant player. And here's how it looks for Southampton. A standard 4-4-2, a formation you know well from your playing days, Lee. Yeah, I like this formation, Derek. It's very, very important that when they haven't got the ball, they all stick together. Very solid look about it. When they don't have the ball, very important that they stay close together in midfield. The back four will link across the width of the pitch, but they've got to help the forwards. The two up front need width. Enjoy the match. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Pretty well balanced, this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Redmond. Romeo. Salisu. And it's with Bednarek. Oriol Romeu. Douglas Luiz. Traore. And scope for them to produce something exciting. And space to cross it. Can they get in behind them? Not getting anxious when they have the ball. Matty Cash. A real opening now. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. Well, here's the replay, and the passing move is almost unstoppable. The movement is key for me. And then it's a good heady finish, to be fair. Keeper, no chance. Lovely goal. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. The opening goal of the game then. Aston Villa goal. Number 16, Bertrand Traoré. Ings. John McGinn. Traoré. Now he must favour the cross. Traoré. Looks promising this, and he's through here, and thumped away. Using his physical strength to shield it. It's a good looking ball in behind. Traore. Oh, it's in! A two goal cushion now, and the lead fully merited.
Well, here's the replay, and it's a lovely through ball to set up the chance. And he composes himself, coolly slides it past a lonely keeper, who will be asking questions about where his back four went to. Oh, to be a fly on the wall in that dressing room if it stays like this, Derek. He's not happy. Just look at him. It's going their way. 2 0. Aston Villa goal. Number nine, Danny Ings. Villa have had nearly all the possession. If you have that much of the ball, you can put pressure on the opposition defence. And they look like they're creaking. That's why they're winning comfortably. And able to get a body in the way. This looks promising. He made it look simple, really. Could be a chance to break here. All hands on deck. And a fine tackle. It'll be a throw. They had to clear it. Walker Peters. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Ings. And they'll be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Untidy in possession. Well, that was all down to the pressure applied and a throw forthcoming. Romeo setting off perhaps a little bit too much here. And super tackle and they've won possession. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. John McGinn. Danny Ings now. Douglas Luiz. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. They've lost it. And the chance for Ings. Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. And we will have a couple of additional minutes at the end here. Couldn't keep the ball. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. And so it is, the first half story has been written. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark in attack in this game, Lee. Well, he's tried hard, Derek, I'll give him that, but his heart has ruled his head. Never clever enough today to find enough space to lose his marker. That's probably the major reason why they're losing this game. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Matty Cash. Douglas Luis. McGinn. It's with Douglas Luis. Well, Derek, all departments of this team have been off today. Very rarely happens when everybody's poor. That's what the fans are reacting to. They should ask for a refund. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Not troubling the keeper. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Emiliano Buendia. Ings. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Ward-Prowse. Running room in the wide position. 
Tremendous intuition to win it back. John McGinn. Ings. It's with El Ghazi. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Oh, just mistimed his run and the flag going up. Ings. Well, they've given him too much space. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Dangerous looking attack. A very effective clearance. Anwar El Ghazi. Young. And here is Mings. Marvellous Nakamba. Opportunity it is. Cutting the ball back. Oh, a smart stop. It'll be a corner. And with play stop, they will make the change now. <laughs> Played into the centre of the box. And he clears the danger. Well smuggled behind for another corner. And we're highlighting him for a reason. He's putting in a really authoritative performance here late. Well, Derek is what I used to call a pest. Never lets up, always asking questions of you as a defender. Questions you don't normally have the answer to. That's why he gets so many goals. Teammate available. Able to close down the shot. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, they were possessing the ball well, but now they've lost it. Ashley Young. McGinn. Well, when you can keep the ball like this, it's got to be really annoying for the opposition. Nakamba. At times, they make passing look easy. Marvellous Nakamba. Tremendously strong in the tackle. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Oh, a nice looking pass. A matter of keeping his composure. And there it is. That will put the seal on victory if there were any lingering doubts. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt he was going to slot that away. Good finish. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Inside the final two minutes of this contest. Struggling to keep the ball. Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Matty Cash. McGinn. 
It's with El Ghazi. Good looking ball. And there goes the final whistle. Disappointing for Southampton, whatever way you look at it. Three points dropped, Lee. Yeah, and it was the nature of the performance more than anything. They just never got out of second gear and were dominated all over the park. I tell you what, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance this evening, Lee. Well, that was a really, really good performance from the lad and a goal to boot. Really delighted with that goal, I'm sure he is.